I discovered that scales that were certified by the Ghana Standards Authority had been adjusted in the eastern regional town of Mipum, at a sprawling community. It boasts of basic amenities such as potable drinking water and electricity. The mainstay of the people here are farmers, but many are impoverished. Cocoa growers lay the blame squarely at the doorsteps of the purchasing clerks. They may be right. After dropping the 60 kilogram weighing stones on the scale of the state owned PBC, a scale which has been passed by the Standards Authority certification test reads 50 kilos, that 8 kilos short. Mauli Titiate is the produce clerk manning this shed. He tells me he's unaware the scale is faulty. Oh, scale is faulty. Yeah, faulty. Yeah, faulty. Because we say last crop will be the cocoa crab by instead of 5 kilos. The scales, like any machine, sometimes develop faults. I noticed the defect recently. When a farmer brought a bag of cocoa to this shed, I'm not aware of the current fault. My boss indicated he will be here to check the validity of the scale. And it is a we who say fault one hundred percent. I'm over carrying. I'm a carrying. Oh, or the bar. See, boy, or the bar. Now, five kilos. Ah, it means you're not. You know, you know the man. Despite this defect, we would still weigh any cocoa brought to the shed. We know how to ensure the farmer gets value for his hard work. Adjustment, you know, more and more adjust. You know, say the bar is not sanet. Oh, yeah, the bar is not sanet. The shed is being run by the state-owned PBC. There wasn't any fault when the scale was handed over to us. We are adjusting you. But you see, I say you won't say we adjustment. For your fault, fault me bang. He left the three twenty kilo weighing stones one after the other onto his scale. Instead of the scale reading sixty kilograms, it shows fifty-two. It means he steals eight kilos from every bag of cocoa. His explanation is that a mouse had stuffed pieces of cloth inside the scale and that might have accounted for the defect. Yet the weighing stones, you know, a season, you know, say, a year, 60 kilograms. The scale read 52 kilograms. It means the farmer will be losing 8 kilograms on each bag brought here. Okay, I think I one. man on the day. Now, by a chino or somebody. When the scale was handed over to me, there wasn't any defects. The fault was as a result of activities of mice that had stuffed the back end of the scale with foreign materials. I have come to the shed of Kiapa Koko Farmers Union, another license buying company. This company is owned by a union of the farmers in this area. It's situated at the heart of a scattered settlement. The purchasing clerk is not happy about the idea of wanting to test the validity of his scale. The reason was obvious after offloading the weighing stones onto the scale. The 60 kilogram stone registers 53 kilos. He also claims he's unaware the scale is faulty. I'm surprised that uh, the weight is uh, 7.5. I'm very, very surprised. Even I don't understand. But the weight that we, we, we have here, we cut and sell it to the depot, is what we are norm normally do. Yeah. So, um, does it mean does it mean that in this case the farmer has lost like seven point five kilos? No, the whole thing is uh, we are in society. When we talk about society, it's not the same as uh, depot skill. You see, so uh, there is small uh, kilos addition to the society one. So that when you cut it, when the farmer brings the cuckoo, when you cut it, 
you have to get some 2.5 kilos as your profit margin uh -huh. okay so in your case which society do you work for i i i just named the society the name of the company i was saying it's kuyapa kuku company yeah so um what are what are the reasons why this adjustment is done the adjustment is not been done to for our we we, we ourselves skills at time is not normal it's not because of you people I never knew that this is the weight inside the school. Because at times, we are always checking our skills. So as the city is now going to be open, at all, at all costs, they will come and check everything. Uh -huh. So I'm very surprised about this uh, close in the school. Normally, it was four. Last year, it was four kilos. That was what is in the school. Uh -huh. So as it it rises up, can you see that the bar also shake? So the scale is not the bar is not stable. A few meters away from the shed of Kuyapa Koko is the Kuyapa Licensed Buying Company. It's being managed by two teenage boys wearing singlets. I test their scale, which had also been passed by the standards authority. It reads 54 kilograms for a 60 kilo weight. But there is an explanation. The senior produce clerk, Emmanuel Mensa, says they adjust the scale to make extra money to pay their wages. Uh, we pay those who like the potter, the carriers, and do the, those who used to drive too, we pay them. And the drivers too, fare on this too, we used to pay. So, um, usually the farmers have been complaining that this adjustment is affecting them but why do you adjust uh, sometimes the dryness you dry and when at, when the cocoa is wet it's wet the, the, the weight is heavier than when it becomes to dry it so you you did that some for me to dry it. so that when it become dried it will come to like to come close to what we deducted so that you get the actual figure. How much do you deduct for drying? Drying, maybe one kilo, it depends. When you dry for five days, the, the dryness should be in six days, but when you dry in five days, you deduct one kilo. But if it is not up to five days, when you check and it is like three days, maybe two, then you used to dry it. We did that two from eight. Which, which, which company brought you the scale? Kiapa Company Limited. Kiapa are they are they aware of this adjustment? Mm. They are not aware, but they 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 gave us actual that's two point five kilogram. That's two point five kilogram that we used to. So the actual weight is two point five, but two point five is for the like the recorder or the PC the the PC who used to work here. You take the 2.5 as a job money. So, um, in other buying companies, is the situation worse than yours? Uh, some used to um, be like some, they, 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 they what they, they incurred in the, this thing, like we, they could apart. We we are we concern about the farmers. That is, is for the farmers union, you know, the cooperative. We, we are cooperative, but the others, the Jumapa, them, I don't know what they used to be, but we, we are cooperative. So it's, we care about the farmers. Nojo Emmanuel is a produce clerk and a farmer at Asinkesu in the eastern region. He looks energetic. I have come to his shed to speak to him about this age-old canker. He's bitter about the unfair tactics employed by the purchasing clerks to cheat farmers. The clerks also steal 10 kilos in this community. Well, the adjustment affects farmers much because um, the farmers depend on their produce. And when they sell and they are not able to get the exact value or the money that they're supposed to get, it affects their lifestyle. They don't have get money to uh, take care of their homes. And for their children, they don't get money to take care of their children at school. They don't get money, enough money to 
care for their health and even to expand their, 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 their farms. So it affects their, their lifestyle and it makes the community, as you know, as you know the community is a poor, uh, uh, it's a poor area. There, are, there is poverty around our place. So if we are not able to get the money that we, we, we should earn from our farms, it makes us uh, live in poverty more than uh, we, we expect, uh, more than uh, we, we, it has uh, it, uh, more than before. Because we expect to grow and our life, we expect to improve our lifestyle. But because of the, the, the bias, they don't help us to get money to improve our lifestyle. So we get problem for that. It's a problem for us. Walk us through. You've been a cocoa farmer. How, 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 how deep is this canker in terms of the adjustment of the skill? How much, sometimes, how, how, how high is the skill adjusted by these cocoa clerks? Mm, well, we've just make our own study, though we don't have any uh, real approval. But for our, our own study, we could see that they have adjusted the skill around 9 kilos, 10 kilos, even some. The, the least one is about six kilos. It's not less than five kilos, uh, because we, we we use our uh, some uh, sometimes we, we 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 stand on the scale to see our weight. When we check from some place and we stand on the other scales, we know that they have adjusted maybe about seven kilos. That's the uh, system we use to check uh, the the adjustment of the scale. But we can't do anything about it since they they, they do it secretly. We will not be, we, 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 we are not present before the scale is adjusted. But we have seen those things that they have been adjusting some more, about 10 kilos, 9 kilos, and thereabout. So it's very high. When you translate this into fiscal cash, how much are we looking at? Mm, fiscal right now, 1 kilo is 7 CD, 60 pesos. So if it is 9 kilos, then it times that, which is uh, almost um, 70 Ghana for where we will lose about 70 Ghana on one bag, on one cocoa bag that you wait. At least 70 or 50, le not less. He believes the authorities are aware of the exploitation of the farmers at the sheds, but do little in checking it after detecting the discrepancies. At least 70 or 50, le not less than 30 Ghana you will lose on every cocoa that you weigh. And how much is a bag of cocoa? 475 Ghana cities now. That must be really pathetic. What justification does the 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 cocoa clerks usually give for, for this adjustment of their skills? Well, for the justification, I personally don't agree. They, they tell us about the weight that they're supposed to take the cocoa to their depots, which is uh, higher than... Um, what they buy from us because we weigh at the uh, cuckoo uh, shells at 65 kilos and they take it to the depot they say at 66 or some depot 67 so it means um they at the depot is higher but what they we know is that the depot is free scale they don't adjust the depot scale so if they adjust here so much then it affects the farmer and, the, and then the pc gets the the the, 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 the benefit more and uh, apart from that, uh, for the um, because of the uh, adjustment, um, they are one of the adjustments that the, some of the beans are not properly dry because we don't uh, grade the cocoa at the station; they grade at the depot. We accept that, but not all farmers bring on dry cocoa beans. Some farmers bring properly. Some proper farmers know how to dry cocoa beans well. So if all of them weigh on the same scale, it means there is a problem. And also, they talk about small beans. Some of the beans, uh, I mean, uh, uh, when they select it, when the grade, uh, grade they select it, it means some are not uh, acceptable. And, but it's not too much. It's not so much that it can affect the PC or the buyer. And uh, this, uh, those, those justifications are not some that, uh, something that we can accept. But because they make money from it, that is why they say something to cover themselves. And but some even claim that they are just because the, 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 the cocoa sack has a certain weight that it takes away when you place it on the scale. Oh yes, as for the sack uh, issue, um, if they don't adjust it even, they can get their, 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 their sack has been 
um, deducted before the price is given. The 475 per bag is without the sack. So that all, all, all these are to cover themselves. It's not a real issue. The adjustment of the scale is not about the weight of the, uh, of the sack, as they are saying. Because when we take cuckoo to the uh, buyer, and it is not up to one bag, if it is at 50 kilos, you will not be paid 50 kilos. Because of the weight of the uh, sack, they will give you about 48 or 49. Because, and that one is acceptable. If they don't adjust the scale, that 50, 48 or 49 uh, out of 50, I think is like, it will be acceptable. You've upgraded yourself um, to the status of uh, a clerk. Give us names of, of these license buying companies who, who have adjusted their, their, their skills to the detriment of the farmers. <laughs> All the buyers, uh, license buying companies, I don't think one can be uh, re re removed or can be eliminated from this uh, issue. Because I know many uh, buying companies, if I can mention names, I know many, which is uh, Jumapa, they have depots around here. We have uh, Kukula and um, Kuyapa. They also have depot around our place. We have PBC. They have depots around our place. They have trans, um, trans Royal, Royal Commodities. Um, there are a lot of um, buyers, buying centers in the Amajaro. And that, there are many buying centers around there. More are also coming. But one thing is that if you work with them, you will see that none of them have free skill at the uh, buying center. It's time to check the depots being accused by the purchasing clerks of being the cause of their woes. I first tested the skills of Abrabopa, Kumankuma, Ejumapa, and Ekuyapa. They all weighed exactly 64 kilograms, except the state-owned PBC depot that had adjusted its scale. It read 57 kilograms when I dropped the 60 kilo weighing stones on it. This means the depot steals 3 kilos from their purchasing clerks. Though the three depots operated at free scale, the district managers confess they weigh the cocoa at an unofficial 66 kilograms. Actually, KCL is a company that has the farmer's plight at heart. So, come on, come on. Kuma Kuma Company Limited. We have the farmers' uh, plight at heart, so we don't adjust our skills. We we have we, we work with the free skill system, uh -huh, so that um, at least what the the cocoa that the farmer brings is exactly the amount that he gets uh -huh, in terms of its kilos and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, when we went on the ground, the complaint some of the clerks told us was that when they come to the depots, um, it usually weighed at 67 for them do it free scale but it's usually weighed at 67 for them why is it so it is not 67 it is 66 okay. it is 66 that they have to bring to the depot and then we take um, 64 to the port uh, and then the port also takes uh, 62 uh, to outside so at the shed depot shed we bring the what the way is 66 here uh, so it's not 67 it's two kilograms okay Mm -hmm. okay. Difference of two, two, two kilograms. Okay. And what usually um, causes this? Uh, but the scale is a machine, so as you use it to work, sometimes um, the, the, the weight also may change. And uh, we normally also call our scale mechanics to work on it. Just we are, we are about to uh, start a season they will come down to work on it so that you to read that normal reading 60 <coughs> as you as it should it should it should, it should read to read 60. Oh, what do you mean to me because here your depot ha your transfer is no mawo and so your transfer is no mawo pieces na I'm unable to determine why the skills have been adjusted at the sheds. Our responsibility is to transfer monies to the purchasing clerks who deal directly with the farmers. This is in being said depot no omo de bremo as managers we are unable to tell when a produce clerk adjusts the scale. We weigh the cocoa brought to the depot at 66 kilograms 
because we need to pay our laborers and meet other related costs. Now let's do some mathematics. A kilo of cocoa equals 7 cities, 60 pesos. If a farmer brings 10 bags of cocoa and loses 10 kilograms through dubious adjustment of the scale on each bag, it means 120 kilograms have been stolen. 120 multiplied by 7 cities, 60 pesos will be 912 cities. The produce clerk who has not even planted a seed of cocoa makes a lot of money than the cocoa grower. I reported my findings to the Ghana Standards Authority. Paul Michael Date is head of scientific metrology. He said the authority would dispatch its inspectors to verify. These are measuring instruments and uh, once this is a complaint we are receiving, we will dispatch our men to the field to go and ascertain uh, the truth or otherwise in the claims. And if uh, the is true, then the necessary processes will have to be activated. Is it that um, Standards Authority is not aware of what's going on on the ground? Um, I wouldn't say because it's p part of our work, which we do. Um, so we'll be dispatching some of our staff to the field in about some 10 to 15 days time to go and conduct inspections. But why do we still have purchase clerks adjusting their, their, their skills? Um, well, the motivation is, is easier to say is, is because of money. But you will have to go and, uh, to the field and to verify and know the extent of uh, adjustments that have been made. But then I will also say that uh, we will need to maintain a lot of vigilance, increase the number of inspections in order to be able to curtail, if not eliminate, this kind of practice. But what are the sanctions for those that adjust their weighing scales? Yeah, the, the, it includes prosecutions. Either you are jailed or you are fined or both. So if joint news should submit um, concrete evidence to the standard authority on some of these purchase clerks and, and, and depots who have adjusted their scale, what, what then happens? Yes, what happens is that we'll send our inspectors to go and verify. And if found to be true, the necessary processes will be triggered or activated for the law to take its course. In 2014, I investigated this deep-seated corruption perpetuated by produce clerks. Three years down the line, little was done by the Ghana Cocoa Board to punish the defaulting clerks. It's now worse than my first encounter. I am back at Ankasa in the Jomro district of Western Region. Frail looking Paul Kujo suggests Coco Board should make it a rule that every produce clerk must have a weighing stone at their shed to enable the farmers to check whether the skills have been adjusted. Uh, I think the only thing is a Coco Board who is the only one who can stand, who can, who can. Uh, or arrange this uh, situation, I mean, can, can uh, 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 what you call, can resolve, can resolve the problem. What should Coco Board be doing to resolve the situation? First of all, you have to tell, you have to announce and make an announcement to let all the farmers know that the cocoa is 64 uh, kilos that we have. And everybody, everyone, or any a PC, where they are weighing cocoa, or oh, I mean, when, where they have scale, they should have their weighing stones. The government has spent a lot of money, Cocoa Board has spent a lot of money to buy weighing stones, and the weighing stones are at Bogoso. 
It's full there. They don't know even where to park them. And nobody will go, go and, uh, I mean, make any use of, uh, use of it. The pieces, they don't want to have the weighing stone in their, uh, in their place because you don't want, they, don't want, uh, they don't want us to check, to check them. So they, uh, they, don't, they, go, they don't go and take it. So I think it's only Cocoa Board who can uh, stand up and say, and tell the truth to the farmers that the cocoa, I mean, the, because the farmers, they are, we are saying it, but Cocoa Board have not, don't make announcement really to say that uh, cocoa is being weighing 64 so that the farmer can I mean, have the right to go to check with the weighing stones. But there is a different suggestion. Nojo Emanuel, the farmer turned purchasing clerk, rather wants government to wage a campaign against fleecing of cocoa farmers like the fight against Galamse. What can government do to cure this ill affecting cocoa farmers? Hmm, government have much to do. Uh, since it is affecting us at the ground, he has to come to the ground, to the farmers. There he will know what to do. Because the farmers are facing the problem and they know what to do. But government have the power to control this uh, canker. So we are appealing to the government to work on this thing. As he's working on Galamse and other things, we know his uh, intervention will help. So government have to, it has, it has been overdue, long overdue, because this thing has been this. When you say, when you tell people about it, they say, oh, it's from uh, or the uh, Tetekwashi time. Kuku self, that is the nature of Kuku. Uh, it's stealing all the, but we don't know why they justify with stealing. So they think everybody can steal and get free. So government have a role to play and then he have the power to. But the Ghana Standards Authority say they usually send um, their officers around to check the skills. Is that not enough they know the standard board know what is happening at the ground that is not uh, what they are um, but in fact if you go into that i think there is a lot of uh, work to do over uh, 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 on them too because they know it but they are not able to uh, uh, remedy the situation they know everything they go around when they go around and they see the problem they just see the the the, the officer the officials involved and then i think they, 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 they do uh, their own uh, this in, uh, hand in hand uh, issue, then I think they, 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 they end it there. Clearly, if the $1.3 billion secured for the purchase of cocoa beans will make any difference in the lives of cocoa growers across the country, government through Cocoa Board must take bold steps to protect the purse of the poor cocoa grower. For Hotline, this has been quite nothing.